Yo, we're here on Fake Claw Prisons, and the new season has just started. Some of the crazy changes that are different is that they made the whole dragon system, which is similar to like a pet system. It is fully now like in your storage. And then when you do have these dragons, of course, you can equip them, but you can now add a dragon traits. And these traits are like these different buffs you can add, and then you just kind of roll them, and you get a chance to get like, you know, buff too. This will increase the dragon's booster by 10%. So you can have any dragon with any of these buffs, and it'll help you gain more like money, soul more enchants they also added pickaxe skins which you can unlock these to buff these different like currencies and stuff these are actually pretty cool they have artifacts which i believe is another way to boost your enchants or like your pickaxes or something and then of course we have a billion of these different types of enchants we also have a ton of these emerald enchants but yeah this is going to be crazy i want to get right into everything i want to try progressing as far as possible today of course if you want to come check out fake cloud the ip is on the screen zap.fakecloud.com the server literally just opened less than an hour ago, so you gotta come try it out. There's over like 550 people online, so yeah, it, it's quite crazy. Now, another thing is I do giveaways every single video, so if you wanna enter this video's giveaway, well, let me actually throw the last video winner up there on the screen. But if you want to enter this video's giveaway of 2,000 credits, which we gave that away last video, then comment your in-game name, and then consider leaving a like and subscribing. You don't have to, but consider it, please. And then, okay, so, you can spend these 2,000 clouds on, like, these different items, such as ranks. You can buy miscellaneous 2x global boosters. Those are pretty cool. You got kits, loot boxes, and then even some other crazy things. You know, like one of these stat buff rolls, which, you know what, let's buy one right there. And uh, let's roll that token, and that is Emeralds 3. That gives us a little boost for getting emeralds which i mean whatever we don't really need that right now and that's honestly not a great buff but yeah of course make sure you do come check out the server if you do already play consider switching to my ip it is greatly appreciated so what we want to get off started today doing buying five of the galaxy loot boxes i just opened them and we got three of these artifact boxes i got 10 legendary cubes we got a special title some dark dragon eggs wait i got a robber helmet this is a 12.5 percent orbs booster that's actually pretty sweet and then we got a legendary drill so these are the dragon eggs i want to show them off because i mean we'll open all those up real quick and then in here we we have all these different rarities i believe common dragons are pretty much useless so all the common ones kind of suck this one's shiny when it's shiny it just means it's a special rarity which is kind of cool i'm gonna quick fusion all these these basically combine different rarities together we have an emeralds dragon that is a one star rating because we just combined the two of the rares together as you can see it says rare plus rarity so if we combine two of those it'll make it like epic uh a rare exp dragon is good nice an epic orbs dragon that is huge i guess for now i might as well equip one of these common gems but they won't really be used till later so i'm gonna bulk delete all of the common dragons as we just don't need them i'm gonna open up these artifact boxes and i want to check these out because i don't oh okay so this is what artifacts do they can just boost a bunch of different enchants so this one here is actually pretty good because it has orb greed but it also boosts four different enchants so i will equip that so what i want to do though is also show you this they have these mine upgrades and then you also have these mine tokens they actually added a lot of these new upgrades they have the exp booster gem booster emerald booster or booster but they also have the new rank upgrade but the main thing i'm looking for right now is of course the mine size the larger the mine the better it is because then you have like enchants breaking more blocks oh yeah and also from the loot boxes i have a crap load of orbs so we are going to uh i guess get like a thousand levels of orb green the thing about this is that dragon burst is just so expensive and i mean we're just i, I guess we gotta kind of get it i'll throw like 500 levels into exp greed though and then the rest into dragon burst maybe some more into orb green this video is actually going to be a little bit longer because my whole goal is to progress pretty far in this first video so i'm probably going to be playing from today till tomorrow so that means we're going to be doing lots and lots of mining and getting lots of mine tokens and hopefully with all these mine tokens my goal is just to maybe get like at least halfway through the mine upgrades in this video for the mine size i mean like at least for those i should actually have enough though to do such mine upgrades and then get this size upgrade oh no it's 86 and mine size is now increased let me see what this drill looks like though okay all right yeah so actually using this probably is pretty good right now some people are already hitting prestige fours prestige fives it's kind of crazy the server's only been out for like an hour so i mean these guys are progressing 
so fast. Oh, also, something that is kind of interesting is I think they changed the armor system around. So I have this guardian shard, and they're called stars. And if I touch our stars, there are these different stars that can be upgraded. This is actually kind of weird. Oh, okay. So this is just like a custom armor system. It's kind of a little different from these like different helmets. But I mean, that's kind of cool though. When I do get enough of the shards, we'll definitely be crafting some of those. And as you can see, our dragons are like level seven now. They are slowly leveling up from mining. Oh wait, I also forgot they added these events. So an emeralds event just started a 2x emerald booster. Those events are actually pretty similar to the ones on like their gens game mode. But let me see here. Do we have any? Okay, orb greed, 20% apply chance. That is not very good. 33% apply chance orb greed, 34%. Okay, surely one of these will work, please. And okay, nice. If you don't know what I just did, I applied an enchantment cube, which now gives us a 10% orb greed boost, meaning we get 10% more orbs. Oh, wait, yeah, I also have my gifts to claim because I've been online. So every single day you log online, you can claim all these gifts and you unlock them like while being AFK. So if I claim all of these, it should just give us a bunch of orbs and it gave us literally no items. It just gave us gems, emeralds, and orbs. I kind of forgot that gems were a thing. So let me type the slash gem shop and oh, okay. You can buy trade tokens from this. I guess with my million gems, I'll buy a shard backpack, which will store all of those. Let me claim up that quest though. And then we got to do mine 5,000 blocks. Okay. I mean, using this drill is pretty good. It's just like, I can't do anything right now. I just got to keep spamming it down and then resetting my mind. So... Maybe I'll just spam this rare one down like a bunch of times and okay. Yeah, that, that's pretty sweet. Oh, nice. I got a rare dragon burst cube and that is a 69% apply chance with a 17% booster. That actually seems pretty good. All right. What I'm going to do is mine for a little bit more. I need to get a few mine tokens so that I can upgrade this size and then I can start using like four drills at a time because this is just taking a little too long. I also do want to complete that quest. So yeah, I'm going to mine for a bit. I will keep buying more levels of orb greed. Oh wait, no, we literally just maxed out orb greed i can't believe i already maxed orb greed though this is a prestigeable enchant i think oh wait no it can't be prestige so never mind yeah that's fully maxed out okay so from what i've discovered while mining is that you get orbs when you hit certain level up milestones so like at level 50, it gave me a crap load of orbs. I think it was like a hundred ish million and I should get a bunch more at rank 75. And okay, I wasn't really paying attention, but I do have four to 50 million orbs. And I think what we should probably do is get a ton of levels into EXP greed. I think it would be good just to max this out in the beginning. But let me go to the mine upgrades and I can purchase a bunch of these mine sizes as I do have, well, I had 600 tokens. I need 329 to max it out again, but... I mean, look at this. Now we can place these drills and we can do probably, yeah, like two at a time. Actually, never mind. I can do all four. That is sweet. And then we'll hit it with a little slash mine reset, place down the drills again. And then I have to do this 25 or like uh, five, 10 more times. My math is not mathing right now. All right, I got one more drill use left or whatever. I'll just throw it in the middle there. But this gave me a lot of orbs sitting at 159 million. We'll probably have like 170 ish by the time they all finish breaking. So with that, I can now fully max out EXP greed and then we'll be throwing all the rest of our orbs, orbs into Dragon Burst. And yeah, so we don't unlock any of these other enchants until like Prestige 1, 3, 5. There are these different caves, which I forgot how they work. So there's an easy, medium, and hard cave. You go to these caves to deal damage to these ores, and then you can use those ores to purchase totems. So if I like go to this cool ore and I start hitting it, it has 5,000 health. And I oh my god, I'm only dealing one damage. Yeah, we can't really increase our damage at all until Prestige 5. So getting these are just pretty much impossible but you go to these caves when they open up you can get these different ore fragments and then you go to this totem forge area which then you can craft these and trade them in and they'll give you like enchant boost emeralds exp orbs some of them do actually give you enchants i just don't know where they are but unfortunately we won't be able to get that for a little while but what i'm going to do is head back to the mine i kind of forgot you can change your mine theme so let's do the water world this looks much nicer i don't like all the dark colors wow i definitely should have been you i should have been using this for the whole video but whatever so what i'm going to do is as i said i gotta get a lot of mining done and in the next video or not the not the next video but in the next part of the video it should be tomorrow and we should be pretty far progressed i'm gonna be pretty much just putting a lot of my orbs into dragon burst try to max this out and i believe there actually is an afk mining area so if i do this it should rack me up with a bunch of orbs and exp all right so as you can see we are sitting at procedure 11 about to be procedure 12 slash 
prestige and let's do that as you can clearly see it has been a while since i've last showed the last clip it's been like three days and we have a lot of stuff going on so firstly i have a ton of these cubes in my inventory still uh but i've equipped even more of these cubes so we have a vortex 21 percent booster 22 percent key finder booster and 44 percent emerald greed booster I have 6 billion orbs left over, and I'm pretty sure I got almost every enchant maxed out besides Dragon Burst. I unlocked Key Magnet at level Prestige 13, uh, but yeah, I guess I might as well throw everything into Dragon Burst. That's another 359 levels. Wait, actually, I don't know if I was going to do that or if I was going to Prestige an enchantment. So, like, for this EXP greed, I could Prestige this and max it out for 1.3 billion, and then we could Prestige it again and max it out again, and now this is just has a higher multiplier, has a 3.38x multiplier, so we get even more EXP from it. And then I believe I also started getting some of these Emerald Enchants. Yes, okay, so I did this yesterday, and then I logged off. I didn't record, but yeah, okay, we're back here, and I got the Damage Enchant maxed out. I have a good amount of levels of Dragon Raid, which is the chance to break a second layer from Dragon Burst. I have Offhand, at level 51 which is the chance to proc another enchant oh yeah that's right and i also got one level of buff finder as that is very expensive um but maybe we can get a buff and then yeah we got hurricane i guess with my last little bit of emeralds i might as well buy 600 worth of that oh yeah there's also gem greed i probably should have gotten more levels of that but yeah if i can prestige this one more time it'll cost 2.8 billion orbs to max this out so we can get 1800 levels and then in my shard backpack right here uh i've been actually using the dragon shards if we test our stars the dragon star here gives you an exp booster and what i've done is fully maxed out every single dragon star besides the one guardian and they're at max level and we have the maximum amount of boost so our boosters right now are very crazy uh as you can see right here we have a 2.97 x exp booster but the thing is i don't want to just mine right now because we have the higher damage i want to go to the caves when they open i really want to get some totems so let's go see when the caves do open and they will be open in about 15 minutes i'm gonna throw all the extra cubes into my player vault and i guess i never used this common drill i'll just spam this down but yeah okay so i guess i'm gonna be back in about 15 minutes and then i'm gonna hit up those caves deal some damage to those blocks now that we have that good enchant oh my god wait i just realized something i saw this earlier so the prestige stats i've never even used any of my prestige stat points so every single stat i increase does a two percent boost so i'll put five of that into damage to deal 10 percent more damage and then i guess i should throw some more into ex p and orbs oh wait these give you a five percent boost okay so yeah i'll just throw the rest into these plus 20 percent exp boost plus 15 percent orb boost and then we have a plus 10 percent damage boost but yeah i'm gonna say you're mining for a little bit longer and once the caves open you will see that we're in the caves okay i'm here back in the cave for the moment of truth we can break these cool ores okay very very quickly the diamonds still take a good amount of time so i think what i'll do is just focus on the coal ore and the iron ore just so that i can gain a good amount of these fragments to then craft a ton of different totems mining the iron ore isn't too bad it takes about like 10 ish seconds while the iron ore takes about three ish seconds so it's only like three times longer to break the iron anyways though i'm gonna run around for the duration of the cave i think it's only like 15 minutes and i'm just gonna break a ton of these ores and then we will craft some freaking totems okay so now this here is the totem forge if i right click to open it as as you can see i have like two ish stacks of iron and coal of the fragments now if we go to the coal ore which is a tier one this will cost us the coal and iron so i actually got a good amount we can craft a ton of these different totems and then i can just basically spam opening these and i'm not really sure what we're getting but we have okay a 0.07x orb totem, 0.09x exp totem this orb totem is pretty bad now the thing about this you can only equip one of each type of totem so okay that's pretty good gem totem as long as i can see unique totems in different types that is good nice emeralds and it looks like i am out of ores so yeah now we can take these totems equip all of them and now i shall have some better totem boosts or different boosts for these different multipliers anyways though that is definitely wrapping up the start of the world of the prison season uh i mean like i know that we're pretty far into the video but what i'm going to do is hit this afk block for a little bit and in between the videos we are going to get to a lot higher prestiges hopefully we can hit up those caves again and get better totems but yeah of course come check out the server we'll have more videos on here soon and i will see you all later okay bye